Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Gonzalez. I appreciate you. I appreciate your, uh, your enthusiasm, man. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to uh, be talking to the great state of Florida where I was born uh, and have lived on and off uh, throughout my life, but uh, excited. Uh, a lot of great things happening in our, in our company. And, and one of the things that uh, I really believe that uh, everything thrives on and really needs um, is leadership. I mean, people need to become, not only become leaders, but they need leaders to help them uh, through the tough times. And obviously we're going through a lot of tough times right now in the world, but here in Legal Shield, we're actually going up and to the right. A lot of great things are happening. We're breaking new records because we are making a real difference with our memberships. Justice for All, an incredible cause, helping people gain access to that. Uh, the coronavirus creating, uh, you know, the opportunity for people to be able to work from home uh, and do all those types of things. Um, and we've got just, we've got the best of the best. And, and so I'm super excited about where we're positioned in the marketplace. And I just want to start out my training real quickly um, <clears throat> with some, some advice that I learned from a gentleman that made over $40 million in our company. He was the number one income earner before he passed away, uh, Mr. Dave Savola. And he always used to tell me, he says, listen, if you want to be successful, in Legal Shield, your focus needs to be on today's goals. He never really worried about um, tomorrow because there's no guarantee of that. And he, and he didn't worry about yesterday because that's in the past. And if we learn from uh, the challenges and things that we went through in the past, uh, we can build upon that. Uh, and, and if we've learned from it, it becomes success, a success in my opinion. And then therefore we apply to today. So what are we doing today? Don Thompson said it about two years ago when he became, or a little over a year ago, I'm not sure how long it's been now, but. Uh, but Don's been, uh, you know, the president of the networking division, and you guys know him very well. Uh, but I loved when he said, I don't need to worry about making two new exposures tomorrow. I just need to make two new exposures today. And so if you and I have that concept of, you know, it's the staircase that has a thousand steps in front of you. You don't worry about the whole thousand steps. In other words, don't worry about going executive director or going platinum are getting the six figure ring or the 50K ring or the million dollar ring. Don't focus on that. Just focus on the fact that you just need to take the next step. Okay, and what do I do in order to take that next step? So if you understand what the compensation plan tells you and I to do, uh, you know, if you wanna go from associate to senior associate, that's where your focus needs to be. If you wanna go from senior director to executive director, that's where your focus needs to be. Um, and not worry about it because if we're focused on the little things, the big things add up, okay? All the little things compounded, they add up to the big thing, okay? We've got a lot of stuff going on in our business, a lot of great things happening, but focus on what you need to do in order to just take those simple things, but don't get overwhelmed because we can suffer from analysis paralysis. We can get bogged down with all of that. So in other words, stop thinking about tomorrow. Yes, it's on your mind, but start working today, okay? Start working today. Prospecting is the number one most important thing that you and I do on a daily basis. We've got to fill our prospect funnel. We've got to have 10 people and pro 10 prospects in play at all times. And when I say in play, that's just somebody who has, uh, you've exposed to them. They've seen a full presentation. They haven't said no. They haven't said yes. Uh, and, uh, you know, you just want to be, you want to be following up with them. Okay, um, and the fortune is absolutely in the immediate and consistent follow-up. Um, and you wanna do it at least five times. And so every time you follow up with somebody, you're, you're calling them, yes, you're leaving a voicemail, but you're also texting them, okay? And so you're doing both. It's not or, you know, it's both, it's and, okay? So let's make sure that we're following up. You're not a predator, okay, but you're a professional. Okay, you wanna be a professional in our business and when we prospect. So what do we do in our business is we simply put information in front of people in the form of a presentation, okay, or a video, or invite them to a Zoom through Prospect by Legal Shield, or send them that uh, time is now video, whatever the case is, we get their questions answered, number two. Number one, put the information in front of them. Number two, we get their questions answered with a three-way call. And I will tell you this as a sidebar, Build, your, build a, a network of people that you can count on to do a three-way call with you. Don't just count on one or two people. Make sure you have five or six people that you have as a, a, a three-way call team and maybe start a little chat with them saying, hey, is anybody available to do a three-way call? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when you do that, you build that list of people that you can count on 
it helps. It really is a beneficial thing to you because uh, not everybody's all available at the time that you're going to need them in that particular case. So build that, uh, you know, with them. So number two, we answer their questions with a three-way call. And number three, we allow them to make up their own mind. Um, because if I have to convince somebody to come into the business, then I got to convince them to work. That's not something I want to do. I want to find the people that want it like I did, like you do, like the folks that we have in our business that are growing and, and getting after it uh, and building their businesses because there are people out there that, are, that have that desire, okay? So always have that concept. So be relentless with your activity, but patient with the results. So we want to be consistent. It's kind of like that gold mining analogy. You know, you know over 100 years ago, you, know, you, you could find gold on the earth, okay? Um, but once that stopped, they started having to drill down into the earth to find gold, okay? And eventually, as they develop that system and that process, that engineering system, like we have the 10 core systems in Legal Shield and the seven fundamental skills, that's the system to find the gold, the success in our business. But I'll tell you that in the gold mining process, it's more about the removal of dirt than it is the finding of gold because the gold will happen through the system. And that's the same thing with finding successful associates. It will happen when we plug into the system and everybody is plugged into the system, okay? We wanna make sure that we remove our suspects or uninterested prospects to find the right ones to become associates. So we remove the dirt to find the gold. It's the same concept with what our business is. We cannot allow our emotions to get attached to that process. So detach your emotions from it because it has nothing to do with you. If someone says yes, great. If someone says no, great. It doesn't make a difference because it has nothing to do with you and I as individuals, so don't take it personally. It has everything to do with the timing in their life. It doesn't even have to, anything to do with, with legal shield. You know, if they, don't, if they don't see it, they don't see it. That's okay. They may see it tomorrow. It may not be the right time. We don't know what they're going through because everybody you and I encounter in life, everyone's struggling with something. They just don't always put it on their face. I don't care if they're wearing a $2,000 suit and a Rolex watch, you know, driving a Lamborghini. They're struggling with something, okay? You may think they have it all together, but everybody's got something going on, all right? And so we, we need to make sure we take that into account. And then also in the prospecting aspect of it, just understand, hey, listen, I'm here for you. You know, I'm gonna be here. If things change in your life, timing changes, I'm here, give me a call. And then just put them into a, you know, a, you know, a follow-up system and just, would you mind if I kept you, in, you know, informed and then maybe make a phone call here and there throughout the next year um, because you never know when things change in their life. So remember, prospecting is the absolute most important thing that you and I do in our business. Now, here's some, you know, some statistics you guys are well aware of, but I want to share them anyways because, um, they're, they're, you know, this really tells the tale of our business. Now, Last year in 2019, one year of statistics based on 167,000 exposures. Those were people that were input into prospect by Legal Shield. It resulted in 22,000 new recruits, which resulted in 2,200 consistent producers, three-month performance qualifiers. Uh, you know, people that have, are, are consistent, consistently performance club qualifying, which tells us that it takes seven exposures to recruit a new associate. And it takes 10 associates to find a consistent producer and seven active associates or active lines to earn your 50K ring. Well, that's all you need to know. The only thing you need to know now is how many prospects do you need to talk to on a personal basis so that you can, you know, sharpen your skills and get better at it and get better. And, and the more you do, what you lack in skill, you make up for in numbers. So when you find out what your number is, then you plug it into, the, into these and you're going to see what you can accomplish, okay? So, you know, you double that if you want to make 100 grand a year. So whatever your goal is, I don't know what your personal goal is, but whatever it is, there's already somebody doing that in our company, whether it's an extra $500 a month, you're on the right Zoom today. You saw the presentation earlier. You know, if, if your goal is, is to create uh, a new career, you know, you're on the right Zoom because we've got so many people that have already done that. You saw that in the presentation earlier today. Um, and so there's so many great things that are happening with our business. I'm in my 27th year uh, with this company. I used to own a landscape business. You know, I, I, I had no expertise in this area, but all I know is that the more people I share the information with and I put a full presentation in front of them, the more results I get and the more things change for me and my family, okay? 
So a lot of our business comes back to leadership. And I realized that when I first started in the business, I was recruited by a guy named Dave Cibola. A lot of you all know him. Some of you guys are new and don't. But Dave made over $40 million in our company, as I said a little while ago. He was the number one income earner in our company. And, and Dave was somebody that I happen to be around here in the Atlanta area. I'm up here in Cumming, Georgia, just about 35 miles north of downtown Atlanta. Um, and, you know, I've lived here for most of my life. And I can tell you that what I learned from Dave was all about mindset and attitude. And something that I've studied and I learned from my dad was to, is to constantly learn and read and grow and get around the right people. And so I'm just going to ask you, don't be casual about your success. If you're an existing associate, if you're a brand new associate, take this to heart. Because if you treat your business casually, it'll pay you casually. If you treat it with the respect that it deserves, it'll pay you in kind. It'll pay you absolutely. So don't downgrade your dream to match your reality. Upgrade your faith to match your destiny, okay? Don't downgrade your dream to match your reality. Upgrade your faith to you know, match your destiny because you are meant for more. We have got the right product at the right time, the right service at the right time in America today to help people, to help people gain justice for all. And we've got a great service. The coronavirus put a lot of people you know, in, on, on the unemployment line, right? You know, you went online to file unemployment and, there, and a lot of people are collecting that right now. But sooner or later, that's gonna run out. And so I will tell you that what used to be the exception, in my opinion, is now gonna be the rule. You know, um, going forward, people are gonna be looking for ways to make money working from home because a lot of people got caught off guard. You know, when that hit, all of a sudden they went, whoa. In Legal Shield, we exploded, we grew because of the nature of what we do because we're helping people and we've got an incredible opportunity. So pursue those, green, those dreams and those goals uh, with, with passion. Get excited about what you're doing because you attract what you are. You attract what you become. See, there's two pains in life that we all deal with. It's the pain of discipline and the pain of discipline is temporary. The pain of regret is eternal. So the two pains, you decide which one you're willing to pay. Is the pain of discipline or the pain of regret? And let me tell you something, you don't want to go to your deathbed regretting things, okay? Um, you know, you've got an incredible opportunity in front of you right now, and the timing has never, ever been better. So we need to focus on our daily disciplines, and the way to become a leader um, is to learn from other leaders, but also to commit to yourself and your family and the people you care about most in life to that personal, professional, and leadership growth on a daily basis. I'm always reading 10 pages of a good book every day, no matter what. I have for 27 years now since I started my journey in this company. I've actually written a book as a result of all the stuff I've read um, and learned and actually applied and done. You know, that's one of the things for me. I want to learn from people that have done it, not just have read about it and then put it into their own version of a book. I want to know, I want to learn from people that do the do. You know, not just, you know, I want to learn from people that are teaching it from experience. Okay, so I'd rather follow a leader than, than, than listen to one, you know, uh, a know-it-all leader you know, any time of the day. So um, listening to an audio, turn your car into drive time university. I still, I'll still go out for drives, even though, the, you know, when the country is completely shut down, we're opening back up here. Uh, we have been for a while here in Georgia. Um, but, I, you know, even before that, when everybody was shelter in place um, here in this state, it was, it was constant, um, but I would go out for a drive anyways because I just wasn't around anybody. I was in my car, and I would listen to my audios just to get my head straight, right? Make sure that I'm, I'm working on myself and be consistent and disciplined in my, in my, in my activity. So which led me to, you know, as I built my, my attitude and, uh, you know, continue to do that, it's constantly making two, you know, exposures every day, at least a minimum. I mean, we, we need to be doing more than that, but just make sure you commit to doing those Daily disciplines are easy to do. They're easy not to do. It's up to you. Okay. I mean, and, and they do compound over life. So I want to ask people to, to, to raise their bar. The B stands for belief. It's raising your belief in your company, yourself, which is really important, our mission. And it starts with you. See, other people's opinion of you are none of your business. So when you go talk to somebody and you prospect them and they don't necessarily see the same thing that you see, that's okay. It's okay. If, they, if they're in, they're in. If they're not, that's okay. 
don't burn the bridge. Don't slam the door. Make sure you say, hey, listen, if timing changes, I'm here. So, but believe, build that belief in yourself because what happens when you build a belief in yourself, your actions start to increase. And remember that actions defeat the fear. The more you believe in yourself, because everyone has fear, we all have fear, okay? Um, you know, but it's a, a question of, you know, I, I was reading yesterday, literally yesterday, Ralph Waldo Emerson's quote, you know, um, you know, do the thing you fear the most and the death of fear is assured or something along those lines, right? So you'll kill fear with action. Action defeats fear. And so that's why you just have to do it anyways. Feel the fear and do it anyways. Take action. It's the only thing that you and I can control. Action defeats fear. Okay, the more action that you and I take, the better our attitude gets, which leads us to the better results. So we want to make sure that our activity is increased. Remember this, and there's two, there's two things to this, and I need to update this, but procrastination is the assassination of motivation. But procrastination is also the assassination of your destination if you allow it to be. So in other words, don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today. One of the things that I learned um, that I was reading recently, and it was, it was when John Maxwell, um, you guys, on, on all the leadership books that he's written, but John Maxwell had uh, talked about attending a seminar um, when he was a young man. Um, uh, it was a W. Clement Stone seminar. And he talked about, uh, to all, this, all the people that were there at, the, at, at that particular event, he said, you know, how many people suffer from procrastinating, you know, putting things off? Um, and every, pretty much everyone rose their hand if they were telling the truth, because um, many of us did, right? Uh, and he said, let me give you a, a surefire formula that will defeat that. And he said, if you'll take every day and you say out loud to yourself 50 times a day for 30 consecutive days, you say it yourself where you can get out of bed in the morning, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now. And you do that repeatedly every day, religiously. You'll be a surprise. You'll be amazed at what happens to when you put things off. You know, because sometimes we, we don't answer the phone call because we may not be in the right frame of mind. Sometimes you uh, don't make that next phone call because, you know, you, you maybe had the previous one wasn't a great call, a prospecting call. But if you'll just continue to face that procrastination head on and take the action anyways, you're going to get the results. So when you build a belief in yourself, okay, and you start taking the action, that's when you're going to get the results. Because the results come with that consistency. Consistency is everything in our business. The proper activity and a positive attitude. You know, you can go through life as an Eeyore, or you can go through life as a Tigger, okay? Winnie the Pooh, right? The analogy. Um, you know, a lot of people are, are Eeyores out there. They're like, oh, well, you know, I won the lottery, but now I got to pay the taxes. You know, well, you know, or, oh, it's a beautiful sunshiny day, and they go, oh, yeah, the sun's out. I'm going to get a sunburn. You know, bottom line is this, is it, it takes no more energy to be positive than it does to be negative. Matter of fact, it takes more energy to be negative than it does to be positive. An optimist or a pessimist, that's your choice. It's completely up to you what you decide you want to do, okay? And nobody can stop you, but it's your choice. It's your choice whether you want to be successful in Legal Shield or not. It's your choice whether you're going to study leadership and become a leader. People used to ask me, who's your upline? I said, me, you're looking at them. And that was even when I was a brand new associate in the business because I knew that my success, along with my dad and I working together hand in hand, side by side, I knew that it was up to us. Yes, I had Dave. Yes, I had Clee Pickens and Dulcie Pickens. I had them, but I knew the buck stopped here kind of an attitude. And so you want to develop into that leadership position and, and continue to grow yourself because nobody else is going to do it for you, all right? So let's talk about some laws of growth, um, you know, and the first one is the law of consistency because consistency in this business is everything. A lot of people come up to me. I, I've had a couple of people over the, over the last couple of years say, man, you're, the, you're one of the Cal Ripkins in our business, meaning Cal Ripken was, you know, famous for having the longest streak in baseball of starting and without any injury, without the longest start streak in the history of baseball, right? Well, that's kind of what many people in this company, we have a handful, we've got a couple dozen people that are just consistent. They don't give up. 
They just constantly go. They, they keep doing what they've always done, and they keep getting get better and better results because of the compounding effect in our business. You see, motivation gets you going, but discipline keeps you growing. And so that's what's, what, what the number one key is here is to develop that strong work ethic and to be disciplined enough to, to, to know that, hey, my daily activity, my daily disciplines compound, but so do my errors in judgment. They'll compound as well. So we have to remember that everything that we do, if we're trying to get 1% better every day, imagine where you'll be a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. But remember, consistency in life, whether it's exercise, eating right, whether it's financial success, whatever the case is for you, you know, and all of it, right, spiritually, whatever, it's all about consistency, okay? Um, and so you need to make sure you're doing the right things. You need to make sure you have the proper activities uh, and the proper, uh, you know, positive things to help you be consistent in this business. And so a minimum is two exposures a day, you know, and you're doing that for you and the people you love, okay? Make sure we're focused on doing those things. The second law of growth is the law of resolve. You know, and this is decide to decide firmly on a course of action. This is when you make a decision to say, you know what, enough's enough. Enough is enough. I'm tired of living the way I'm living. I want more, I want to grow. You know, growth doesn't just happen. It doesn't, it's not an accident, okay? It's intentional. So I'm asking you to be intentional, be proactive, and do your business on purpose. Don't be casual about your success. Because what you and I focus on, it grows and expands, whether it's positive or negative. So a lot of people have spent the last three months staring at the television, wondering what the coronavirus is going to do. And, uh, you know, what the, uh, you know, the, pro the, uh, the protests that are happening right now, uh, Black Lives Matter movement and the coronavirus and all this stuff. And they think uh, the sky is falling. You know, great things are happening right now. Change is happening right now. Change is inevitable. Okay. But you have to decide what part are you going to take in, in this process and what, what are you going to do with your business? Sometimes you have to get a little selfish right now so that you can be selfless later. You can be selfless and give back. Sometimes you got to go up and grow up so you can come back and give back. All right. So it's important that we train ourselves on a regular basis and we don't allow the negativity of what's happening to affect us in a negative way. Now, it can affect us in a positive way, in a constructive way, so that we make a difference in life. All right. And we, we, can, we can make a change but we don't allow that to become destructive, okay, to where it can alter the course of our life in a negative way. So let's be positive, let's train our minds, let's grow, let's make sure we're learning and growing uh, and reading every single day. We're not allowing other, other people to affect that for us. The next law is the law of the inner circle. This is so important and this is what I've always taught, you know, our three daughters, you know, I have three daughters um, and throughout their lives, I've always, just, just made sure I, I had them asking themselves, because this is what I learned to do, is that growth thrives in conducive environments. In other words, surround yourself with the right people. Make sure you're around good, positive people that encourage you, that lift you up, that make you want to do more, become more, and build that inner circle um, of powerful associations and do it on purpose. You know, be intentional. And, and the way to do it is to take inventory, because you can't, you can't uh, expect what you don't inspect. We've heard that. Um, so ask, write down and, and do this by yourself, okay? Um, ask yourself who you're around, what they're doing to you, and then ask yourself, is it okay? You know, who are you becoming by hanging out with the people you're currently hanging out with the most? You know, is it okay? You know, because if it's not, there's some things that you and I can do about it. Number one, you can disassociate yourself from them. There's certain people in this world right now, we can't, we can't be around all the time because there's just, they're just negative. They're Eeyores, and they're affecting you in a negative way. It's not okay. So you have to disassociate. One of my best friends growing up, you know, all he was into is, uh, you know, chasing women and doing drugs and partying and all that stuff. So therefore, he was no longer my best friend. I knew I wasn't going to go down that path. That's not somebody I wanted to be out with. Now, I encouraged him to change. I tried to do my best to help him, but I realized I can't be around that because if I'm around that, then I become that. Okay, my income is the direct reflection of the people I'm around the most. 
my attitude, my personality, my personal philosophy, my environment needed to change. So I, I made sure I was a change. So I went from being around people that were making twenty and thirty thousand dollars a year, which is what I was making, to being around people that were making over a million dollars a year. Okay, and some people were making multiple six figures a year, and that's all of a sudden what I started making. You know, I'm at eight hundred thousand dollars plus a year now. It's like that blows me away. I used to mow lawns. I mean, I, I mean, I was the guy that would used to mow the lawns, and the most I ever made was like twenty four thousand dollars in a year. And next thing I know, I ten x that you know, over the next, you know, four years because of Legal Shield and who I became because I was reading it and I applied the knowledge of what I was learning. I was going to everything. I was plugged into the system. I was following into all the systems that we have in place that are clearly defined now. And the, our company's done a phenomenal job for all of us to follow that path. And so I followed that. And all of a sudden, I started disassociating with certain people. I started limiting my amount of time with certain people. But most importantly, and this is what everybody can do, I expanded who I was around. I was expanding the associations through personal development. Right away, I had to earn my way into being around Dave Savola, Nick Serba, my dad, um, Clee Pickens, uh, Larry Smith, uh, you know, a lot of people on the Zoom right now. I mean, there's people who've been around together for a long time. But you get to be around good quality people like that, let me tell you something, man, you can't help you're going to grow and, and your income is going to go up. Your bank account's going to go up. You're going to become more, you know, you're going to be able to give back more by accident. Sometimes if you just allow yourself to soak in that information, but leadership is what it's all about. People need to be a part of that. And the law of your inner circle, man, that is critical. Do it for, if you don't do it for yourself, do it for the people you love. Do it for your kids. Do it for your spouse. Do it for your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. Just, you know, do it for the people that you care about most in life, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever. It's really important that you and I uh, do that because you'll have a positive impact and you'll leave a positive legacy for people uh, that, are, that are around, that you're around the mo most. The, the law of the comfort zone is something I thought of when I was in um, the shower <laughs> uh, years ago, but the law of the comfort zone st states that growth stops when you embrace complacency. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to become complacent in life and you kind of can become comfortable. It's when you turn your back on your dreams because of discomfort, because things scare you a little bit. So what we have to do is we have to stretch our comfort zone because we've already earned all the money we can possibly make inside of our existing comfort zone. And so we want to make sure that we are growing and we're getting a little bit better. So we push ourselves, uh, you know, into positions where we, you know, we make that extra phone call. You call somebody say, Hey, you know, uh, Hey, listen, I'm in training. I just started working with this company. If I sent you a two and a half minute, two and a half minute video, would you watch it? I need to get 10 people to watch it. Would you be one of my 10? You know, it's just something as simple as that when you're making exposures. I still say that on occasion. You know, I may call a lead or something. I'm like, hey, listen, I'm, just, I'm working with this company and they, they set a goal for me. I need to get 10 people to watch a two and a half minute video. Would you do me a favor and just be one of my 10 people and watch that two and a half minute, minute video if I texted it to you? You can make so many exposures doing that. It's so simple. And you send them the time is now video and then text me if you like what you see and then you call them back anyways because you're gonna see it on Prospect by Legal Shield. You turn around and make the phone call to them. Okay, and then you follow up with them and then all of a sudden things start to change for you, right? Because all of a sudden you start recruiting new associates, you get them plugged into the system, they go to Fast Start Training, you know, they get started right, they're doing all the good things, they level up, they pick up a $300 bonus then a $500 bonus when they go to manager. You know, and they attended the Fast Start training within that first 20 days. All of a sudden, they're making that extra thousand dollars, eight hundred dollars in bonuses and commissions, a couple hundred dollars. <clears throat> you know, they have that. So just remember that we can help people if we just get outside of our comfort zone, okay? Because there's people that are waiting for you, and you don't realize it. And you and I need to make sure that we are excited about that, okay? The law of pain. Pain is inevitable. You know, as I talked about a little bit earlier, but it's how we look at it that makes the big difference. You know, um, I look at it for, from a growth standpoint. So good management of bad experiences leads to great growth. I love that when I read that. You know, failing can be painful if you let it. You know, it's, if, if you learn from, learn, uh, from a failing experience, it's actually a success. It, you know, there are two sides of the same coin, success and failure. They're like yin and yang, okay? Um, the fact is that failing is a companion of success. They go hand in hand. We all go through adversity. We all go through the emotional ups and downs. 
We have people that say no, we have people that say yes, they get started, they do something, all of a sudden they disappear. Well, how you and I handle that kind of stuff and how we look at it from an attitude perspective and what it's gonna do to you and I, if we continue to grow and go and help the people that are in our business and help them plug into the system and we continue to do that without fail, you're on the Super Saturday, man, it's Saturday. You guys are in Florida. You can be doing other things, but you're here. I applaud you for that. Because that, let me tell you something, that tells me that you, won't, you don't, you don't want to be average. You don't want to settle for mediocrity. And that's, that's a huge key to all of our successes and making sure that we are focused on, on becoming successful and doing the things that are required to become successful. So that's the law of pain. And now, uh, you know, I got about 10 more minutes. So I'm going to be wrapping up here, Daniel. But um, I want you guys to think about professional athletes for a minute, you know, how they train their body and study their sport. They do it every day and they're consistent. Okay, it's, it's like, how long do you think they're going to be professional athletes, whether they're in the NBA, NFL, NHL, MLS, or MLB, okay, whether they play soccer, baseball, basketball, whatever the case, football, um, how long are they going to be in the league and making millions of dollars if they aren't training? I mean, we've seen it from time to time, you, you know, they say, oh, you know, such and such athlete, you know, they came back and they were 15 pounds after the offseason, they were kind of, you know, out of shape a little bit or 20 pounds overweight, you know. Um, but it, it makes you realize that, you know, you got to take it seriously. you got to take your business seriously. So if, if athletes are making that kind of money playing a sport, then why are you and I not treating our business in that same way? Our Legal Shield businesses, being a professional Legal Shield associate to where we're working on it every single day. We're learning, we're growing, we're prospecting, we're presenting, we're following up, we're helping people get started right, we're effective, we're, you know, we're building our businesses. Grant Cardone said it best, work to your potential, not to your quotas. There's too many people, I think, in our business, uh, you know, Daniel, that, um, you know, they, they work to performance club. You know, we have our, our, you know, our performance club pro by the 15th, and you get extra commissions and bonuses, and you see people go, ah! they go crazy and all else all of a sudden on the 12th or the 15th or the 20th or whatever and they get their extra bonus and they perform this club pro qualify and then they go okay and they work to their quota man they didn't go they didn't work to their potential it's like man if you had kept on that pace you would have gone senior director you would have gone executive director because you were so excited and you would have had more people on your team doing the same thing people will do what you do not what you say you have to lead from the front and from the back you got to be helping push people. You got to push them when they need to push. You got to lead when they when they when they want to follow. So you got to make sure that you are out there making it happen, regardless, and working to your potential because that will inspire others to do the same. It'll inspire the right people to do the same. And it only takes a handful of people for you and I to become very successful in our business. It doesn't take a lot of people, but it takes the right people that are going to do it regardless. So get it, get excited, get hungry about your business and get fired up about where you're going. Train your brain on a daily basis. Read, learn, grow, invest in yourself. If you don't, who will? Achievers read. Nobody can do it for you. You know, Jim Rohn said best, I think he said, the book you don't read can't help you. You know, it's like the prospect you don't talk to can't help you. The book you don't read can't help you. You know, the phone call you don't make can't help you. So quit doing that. Let's start focusing on what we can do. Don't settle for average. Average means that you're slightly in front of the people that are falling behind in life. I don't want to fall behind. I'm, I don't want to be mediocre. I don't want to, I don't, mediocrity stinks. It sucks. I don't, I'm not interested in that. I want to be massively successful. And, you know, I just want to keep driving. And the reason, the more successful I am, the more people, the more success other people have. And the more people I've helped become successful. You see, I don't make it about me. I never have. Um, I've always made it about other people. And that's really what our business is all about. We build people and they build the business. You know, and then you get these rings, okay, and they're, they're cool, they're all great, but nobody gets them by themselves. You don't. It's a, it's a collaborative effort of individuals pursuing their dreams while collectively building a company. And you're building your company within 
the company, Legal Shield. So you have your own company within it. And so treat it that way. Treat it with success. Treat it with that as a leader would. Treat it as the owner and founder of your company within Legal Shield. And just don't settle for being average, man. Let's, let's go do it because it's so much, it's so easy. There's plenty of room at the top. It's only crowded at the bottom. Okay. You know, would you rather be soaring with the eagles or clucking with the chickens? It's, it's completely up to you. Your mind believes what you tell it, guys. You know, you got to be careful what you put into it. It's really important. I taught my daughters this growing up. I'm like, listen, you got to be really, you got to be really conscientious of what you're um, putting into your mind. Because if you're believing what you're seeing on social media, a lot of that stuff is a farce, okay? Um, people only show their highlights or their lowlights. They don't show the average everyday stuff. You know, very few people show what's really going on. You know, now some people, you got a few out there that'll just like totally verbally vomit on you, you know, when it comes to what's going on in their life. But then you really only see like the, the high points in a lot of people's lives, which is great, okay? But your mind believes what you tell it and what you put into it. So make sure you're, 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 uh, you're focused on the right things, all right? The reason people are broke on the outside is because they're broke on the inside, okay? You know, be relentless for yourself and for your family, the people you love, and your approach to that personal growth, okay? Be relentless in that, pot, in that process. Um, my book, Six Inches from Success, you guys can get it on Amazon. I didn't write it to make money. I wrote it because I, I wrote it from all the journals that I've put together over the years. You can go to Michael Dorsey Official as well, but it's $10 plus shipping, you know, um, and I'll tell you that, you know, it's got a lot of great information there, a little one liners people read it once here and there. It's a small book, it's easy read, but I, here's what I know. In the end, if it's to be, it's up to me because we all have the same company we all have the same commission plan. We all have the same law firm network. We have all the same ID Shield investigators, the same tools, Prospect by Legal Shield, the same events, the same Zooms that are available to us. The only difference is who you and I see in the mirror. The only difference is who you and I see, who we are as an individual and what we're gonna do with what we have in front of us. We've got to get excited, we gotta get fired up, we gotta get after it, and we gotta get really hungry about our success and push through regardless of what anybody says. You know, it doesn't matter what they say. You and I are making it happen because adversity is a part of success. I don't care what you put in front of me. You can put a brick wall in front of me. I'm gonna find my way, my way around it, over it, under it, or through it. I'll do whatever I gotta do to get where I need to be. And that's the attitude we all have to have because I have my reasons why. And I'll show that to you here in a minute. Most people think success is easy. It's not, it's messy. It's not simple. It's messy. Sometimes you're going backwards and you're like, what is going on? But then if you just stay consistent and you're out there making it happen, you don't stop regardless of what's going on. You will get there. You'll get the massive results. You'll become successful. Damian Lillard said it best. If you want to look good in front of thousands, you have to outwork thousands in front of nobody. So you have to outwork average. You got to outwork average. Remember that you know, good players work out, but great players outwork. And that is a huge key to all of our success, is making sure that we're outworking the next person, okay? And we want to make sure we're focused on what we're doing for ourselves and the people that we love, okay? The people that are in our heart. We want to protect our minds so that we can, we can follow our hearts, we can get out there and make it happen. I believe, I think America is the greatest country in the world because of its freedom. Um, is it perfect? No. But let me tell you, find out the other options that are out there. Okay, you want to move to China? You want to move to, you know, other areas of the world? We have people that are dying to get into this country. They're fighting to get into this country. If they stand behind you, protect them. If they stand beside you, respect them. If they stand against you, defeat them. And that's what your attitude has to be. It's something I learned a long time ago. Because fighting for your dreams isn't always easy, but it's worth it. It's always worth it. Never give up. Fight for your dreams. You got to believe in yourself. You got to go after it because nobody's going to do it for you. You've got to go do it yourself. Never, ever, ever give up. Never give up. See, never giving up on what you really want to do um, it, it is so powerful because the person with the, with the biggest dreams is, is far more powerful than the one with all the facts. Okay. Albert Einstein said that. You know, I, I have people that have Harvard PhDs and haven't had any kind of success. 
because they overthink it. And then I have people with GEDs that are making over half a million dollars a year. And the difference is, is their attitude, okay? Their dreams. When the dream is big enough, the facts don't count. When the dream is big enough, the facts don't count. If we could get, yeah, somebody's, somebody's talking in the background. Um, these are my girls. These are my daughters. And I will tell you that there is nothing in this world that would stop me from getting what I want to get or what I wouldn't do for them. I'd give my life for them. I will do whatever I have to do to get there. So why would I let some, some prospect in, you know, that I prospected for this opportunity, why would I allow them to stop me from providing for my daughters? What kind of a guy would I be? What kind of a man? What kind of a dad would I be? The one on the far left, Alexis, she's my oldest. She's about to graduate college. She's 22. And Alexis, um, when she was in eighth grade, I was in Denver, Colorado, and I was doing a presentation, um, a Super Saturday event. And um, <clears throat> I get this text, and I was in the, I, I, we were just wrapping up. I get a text, and it's this really pretty picture of Alexis in this pink dress. And this pink dress was so pretty. And I was like, oh, my God, you look so beautiful, honey. Um, I love that. Is, that. is that your new dress? And she goes, she goes no, we're, we're just out looking, and I'm kind of trying them on for the eighth grade formal. Um, but there's a problem. I go, oh, what, what's the problem? I texted back. And she goes, um, I'm kind of scared to tell you. I said, what do you mean? I said, what's the problem? Tell me. It's, I'm not, it's daddy. It's daddy. I'm here. She said, well, the dress is it's $500. I said, honey, what is the problem? And I say that because if I had let some guy or some lady that said no stop me from building my business, and I wouldn't have been able to afford it. It's only too expensive if you can't afford it. It's only too expensive if you can't afford it. But when you can afford it, it's not too expensive. And it's a change in philosophy. It's a mindset. So I said, there's no problem. She, she goes, you mean I can get it, Daddy? I said, of course you can get it. She only wore it one time. Do you think I sweat that? No, I didn't sweat that because it meant everything to her. What kind of a dad would I be if I had to tell my little girl no because I didn't have $500 to be able to buy her a dress that made her look like an absolute princess? And for me, when I was there that day, shedding tears like a little kid, <laughs> it meant everything to me because I realized the fight, the emotions, the ups and the downs, all the stuff that I went through, and believe you me, people say, oh, Platinum, you got it made. Well, we paid a price. Success, there's a price to pay. I got a lot of people that gave me a lot of flack. I lost a lot of friends, okay, along the way. But I wasn't going to let it stop me from making sure my girls were taken care of and their mom was taken care of. There's nothing I wouldn't do. And so I'm asking you, to figure out what your driving force is inside. And are you gonna become a leader? Or are you gonna stay a follower? Are you gonna build it for your family? Are you gonna build it for your company? Are you gonna build your dreams for yourself? Or are you gonna build it for somebody else? You have the right opportunity right now, at the right time, to go out there and make a real difference in today's society. We need to help people. We need, we need a reformation in this country. People need access to justice. People need to be treated as human beings. They need this service and they need financial empowerment with this opportunity. So it's up to you and I to go out there and make it happen. Don't believe in luck. Believe in never giving up. Most people stop because of fear. Fear has two meanings. You can forget everything and run or you can face everything and rise. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited that you guys let me be on this Zoom today. I wanna to turn it back over to my good friend, you know, somebody um, I've, I've come to really care about, Mr. Daniel Gonzalez. Thank you for having me on, man. I'll send it back over to you.